It's Monday. What's new and exciting with you? All right, boys, prepare to be dazzled. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bills' YouTube channel. We're just out again. I gotta get some gas, because I'm on E, and I'm hoping I can make the reserve before I run out of gas, but we'll have to see. I was out earlier this morning, was able to catch a Samuel for you, so that should be on the next video or whatever, but let me know what you think of that, because it's, it turned out really good. I caught him just in time, so I didn't have to go all the way too far. So that was awesome. There's a gas station back there, but I don't buy the white man's gas, I don't. I buy the native, it's a lot cheaper, Jim. They're my buddies. I was at Whirlpool Island yesterday to pick up some smokes and catch an icebreaker and the cops pulled up beside me. Whirlpool Island cops. Right now it's stay at home order, right? So they don't realize that stay at home order is fine. That's fine. But YouTube makes me money. YouTube pays my hydro bill. That's how I pay my hydro bill with YouTube money. So technically that's essential because I have to pay my hydro bill. What I'm doing is essential because that's a bill that has to be paid. So you can look at it that way, but I, I just said, yeah, no problem, I'm out. I left, you don't want to argue with them because they can give you a ticket for $800 or whatever it is. But technically, I was doing essential work as far as I'm concerned because I got to pay my bills, cap. And I'm in the truck by myself anyway. I heard that a few other people got nailed because they're driving around in their truck, but that was with a couple of them. And I'm pretty sure that they were probably being dicks to the cop. If you're nice and normal like normal people, I'm sure they'd say, you know, just go home, Jim. And you go, right? But if you're going to be a dick to the cop, if I was a cop, you're a dick to me, I'd hammer you. Hard. Hammer you real hard and deep. Freaking right I would. I reached him so deep into your freaking pockets. Captain would find every little ins of... No, I wouldn't. I'm too nice of a guy. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Baltimore Island right there. You should ask them where they're going. You should maybe go home, eh? Stay at home order there, bud. But wouldn't you? You can go wherever you want, Captain. As long as you're not kissing everybody and breathing all over everybody, licking doorknobs. You're good. Hopefully this stay at home order will be over with this week. It's supposed to be an announcement this week, so get that the shit out of there. Holy. Long-term damage to small businesses and stuff is gonna be horrible from this. My condolences go to anyone that lost anyone from COVID. When you lose people from COVID, you still gotta go on, right? And these essential businesses that aren't being able to make money aren't gonna be able to go on. I don't know. I think this is gonna create a lot of freaking depression in the world. That's just my opinion. But I don't wanna get on that subject because I'm a nice, positive guy, I am. And I'm using my Mikey mic today. I just better check to make sure it's still blinking green. Sure is, still blinking green, so hopefully it's working. Because if it's not, this whole video has just been cocked right over. Now, for anybody who wants to know, that's what I'm using as a Wi-Fi or wireless mic, which is cheaper than hell, but it works, I think. I'll be able to tell you when I edit this video. That's one thing about vlogging when you're driving. It's really hard to get the perfect audio setting. It doesn't matter what you buy and how you adjust it and this and that and the other thing, it's hard. So this is probably going to be the best bang for the buck. Yeah. The only problem is now I gotta carry more wires. I am running this off the uh, GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod. Gonna plug for in the back for the jack for the mic. So that's one reason why you have to buy a media mod if you wanna run a wide wireless mic Maruski. I think we're gonna make her, Captain. We're great, we are. No El Problemo. She's another minus C, minus C today, minus 12 C out there, which is, I don't know, polar dicks. Let's be fair night. Four Fahrenheit, I don't know, whatever it is. Without the gauge, I can't tell you. Here, let me give you an angle of the dangle here. We're gonna go the back roads we are. Oh, careful. There we go, let's go the back way. So 1053 there, that's what fuel is. So if we go down here, we turn down here. There all. Back door of the old gas station cap. How you doing? Hey, how the hell you doing, bud? Might have to give the old Silverado a quick uh, blow off too with some water. Not a wash, just a blow off. The thing is white. It's got chunks of friggin' salt falling off of it. Holy, dirtier nicks. This nice little stretch of road down here. Watch for trains. Oh, careful! Holy! Hang on to her. 
Oh, everything's just flying around. That was nasty. What the hell? Captain, just trying to blow the ball joint, I am. No trucks. Okay. We're almost there. This road is like pure ice. That's awesome. Let's do a hundred. Why wouldn't we? Slipping in a slide in. Well, we made her with fuel to spare. So let's take a look here. Fuel here is no idea. Unknown caller. Sorry about that. I had to take that call. It was my other doctor. My doctor, Jim. So it's 97 here. So what was it? 105 there. So there you go. That's quite a big difference. So let's slap some fuel into this bitch. Card, please. We'll fill her right up. We'll give her the top up. It's cold out there. You know what I like about the reserve? They still got those handles at lock. Hey, a lot of gas stations don't have that anymore. But you should see the salt on the truck. It's brutal. I'll show you to you later. How much do you think it's going to cost to fill the Silverado? I'm thinking at 97, it's going to be about $67. Maybe. Maybe a little bit more because it was lower. 70 bucks. What are you looking at? Captain? Yeah, guy doesn't know what the f he's doing. It's all cocked over. What in the f is all this coming from? I must have lent against my truck. Look, I sure did. See? Told you there's a lot of salt on my truck. Oh, yeah. Captain? Yeah, I wonder if I have any change. I'd like to get some change for the old car, car wash. I only need a couple bucks. I think it's $3 to wash for the first wash. And that's all I really need. Just one quick hose off, just to get off the big stuff. So we got, oh, not much. Come on. Oh, there we go, three bucks. We're good to go. Rich, don't be jealous now. Eh, eh, eh. What is going on here? Oh, it stopped. I didn't even hear it stop. Stopped at $83, I was way off. Oh, way. Always get your receipt at the gas pump, because I tell you what, when I was younger one time, this only happened to me once, so. But somebody else come in and pump their gas on my buck. The machine didn't reset for some reason. So I always get my receipt now. Oh, wonder what old people think of this Corona thing. So it cost me $83 to fill the old Silverado at 97. A liter, a liter of cola, Captain. I want a goddamn liter of cola. I don't know what that is. So, now we want a car wash. Where shall there be a car wash close by? <laughs> Up here. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do it when I get home. No, I better not do it when I get home because if I do it when I get home, then the truck will freeze up. I got four dollars. Four dollars and 25 freaking cents. Oh, way. Have a night. Oh, moving some trains around in the yard there. Wonder if the old man's at the train station. Hey Google. Google. Hey, hey Siri. Very. What do you want to say? Are you going down to the train station soon? Your message to Barry says, Are you going down to the train station soon? Ready to send it? Send it. Okay, it's sent. Send that. Maybe I should call me. Hey Siri, call Barry home. She listened. It's not such a dirty bitch after all. She must be out in the boat. 350? Oh, hey. Just cocked me right over. Oh, well. But anyways, I'm going to get out here and wash, but I told you I'd show you, so I'm going to show you. So hang tight here. Let me get out. Check this out. This is from yesterday. Look how thick the salt is on this truck. What happened? You can't even see the freaking stripes. Look at it. It's like flaking. Oh, hey. Welcome to Canada, everyone. Friggin' right. But I'll be back in a minute. There we go. I would have kept going, but my legs acting up. What the hell? Yesterday it was fine. Today's f well. Oh, the frosty old mirrors here—they're all cocked over. It froze up, Jim. Oh, well, there we go. Hey, I got some of it, some of the salt off, and that's all I wanted to do because the old Chevy Silverado is falling apart. So I don't want her to rot out too fast. She's gonna rot. There's no stopping her. Might as well make her last as long as we can. Hey, these things aren't cheap. So now we're gonna go down to the train station, meet the old man, and have a chat with him. So after I'm done that, I'll come back and let you know what else I'm going to do today. Maybe. I know what I'm going to do right as soon as I get off the phone with you. What are you doing, guys? Nothing, man. It's jelly. I'm eating jelly beans. Take a pill. Jump. So, yeah, hang tight, Jim. Well, I just finished washing my truck, as you know, and one of the headlights are burnt out again. So I've come to the conclusion cheap Amazon LED bulbs are garbage. That's like the third set I've done in like, I don't know, a year and a half. I'm gonna buy the ones from work. They're a little bit more money. They're about a hundred and some dollars, but they got a lifetime warranty. I'm done with this. I'm gonna get the good ones I am. 
I know a lot of them I had sent to me, so it's not like I spent any money on them. Let me know in the comments if you had good luck with your Amazon bulbs. Now remember, maybe it's because I live in a cold climate. It's like minus 10 today, so and I just sprayed the truck off, so who knows, right? Could be anything like that, but still. If these were gold glass and accessory bulbs, I'd just take them back and they give me new ones. I think I'm gonna scafu my set, myself a pair of them. Look at the way the sun just cocks that camera over. That's crazy. How was that? That's better. <laughs> Can't cock my camera over, Jim. I noticed that in the, yesterday's video, it was all cocked over. Can't have a cocked over camera. I'm just gonna take a little spin here through Canaterra and I'm gonna go down to the bridge and see what's going on. I know a lot of my family members and closer friends like the ice videos. So I'm probably going to do one of them just for them and whoever else likes them. Because I love you guys and that's what I do. I love you guys and that's what I do. So I seen on the news yesterday that they blocked off this spot because all these cars are parked here and it was cocking people over. So they come and fix that problem, which is a good idea because a car shouldn't be parking there. So you guys got cocked right over you, did. Oh, look at the mountains are getting higher and they leak Ruski. Holy. Ah, oh, yeah. We're getting some buildup. Now we are. Ice McJammin. Oh, you can't even get down there? Come on. What's really going on? At least let you out this friggin' gate. Total waste of time going through there. 11 o'clock. I need some breakfast. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I'm friggin' starving. Eat the asshole out of a fucking chicken. I eat the asshole out of a $5 prostitute. Ew. Oh, now we're stuck behind some guy in a caravan that's scared of speed bumps. I knew this was gonna happen. Jesus, bud, you don't have to go that slow over them speed bumps, eh? They're a speed bump, not a speed bump. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. There's a speed bump. They're just little ones. And you can't go them fast at all. These are designed to go over them at like 20 clicks. Well, maybe 20, 10 clicks. Not like a traditional speed bump where you can't go over them moving at all hardly. So that's a the difference. They're flat on the top, ramp, ramp. They're designed to go a little quicker over. You don't have to slow right up like it's an actual speed bump. Do you understand? I freaking hope so, because this guy doesn't. Really, bud? Let's go, Captain. It's worse when you slow down. Just pull over, make everybody happy. I have no patience for drivers, I don't. I can't stand it when someone cocks me over. It's like following my dad home. I had to follow my dad home because I had to take a piss because I'm at the train station there. And I follow home. He does like 49 kilometers an hour all the way home. Must be nice to be retired. That's one good thing about being retired, I guess. Piss everybody off and just drive real slow. Why, why wouldn't you? Well, I just need to calm down, I do. Calm down, relax, and go with the flow. I need to get out of my truck and jog around it 10 times for some exercise. But hey, guess what? I can't because my legs. Here, lose some weight and your legs will feel better. Well, that's lovely. The only way I can lose weight right now is to stop eating. I can't exercise with this leg the way it is. Unless I go like this. <laughs> what happened? Oh, dick. I get a kick out of people that wear spandex. Women, sure, spandex looks great. Men, not so much. There's just something about the bulge in the front of the freaking spandex. It's just not, I don't know, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm just saying. What about you? Do you feel the same way? Leave a comment down below. It's got to be a nice smooth front end with a nice little cherry blossom. Oh, mama's getting her tonight, she is. This is flowing pretty good down here. Careful. Oh, we're going to sit down here at the bridge for a few minutes to see what's what. Check it out. Do this, that, and the other friggin' thing. I'm just going to sign off here because this has been a long enough video. we got a crane being set up over here, which should be a cool little thing to see. But other than that, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like what you've seen so far. But until next time, stay safe. Love y'all. And you know what to do for now.